Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make affordable, customized Thanksgiving Day shirts for the entire family. I have made two already and I decided to make these because I wanted my entire family to dress in matching Thanksgiving shirts. When I went and looked everywhere, the cheapest I could find was up to from $21 to $25 plus shipping per shirt and that included the children's shirts and to me that just seemed crazy for something that all the only thing it had was a turkey on it so I decided well I can make these myself and if anybody knows me they know that I'm I've been crafting my entire life and I love making things on my own so I went out and I decided to go for the um, basketball, uh, sorry basketball, baseball sleeve shirts for the whole family and do the same design. So the first one I made was this one for my son and it says baby turkey because he's the youngest. On the back there's a little turkey. It says thankful and on top it says his name um, and we went with that I went with the whole theme throughout I'm mama turkey my husband is um, daddy turkey or papa turkey and my little girl is sissy turkey so here's mine I also have mine done and I decided that for the girls myself and my daughter I would um, make the letters glittery and for the boys I would just use this gold print excuse my nail I broke a nail um, I would just use the gold print I don't think they want to wear glitter here's mine that says mama turkey and you can see the glitter it's pretty added a little arrow on the bottom that seems to be in style um the turkey thankful oh and i am going to add googly eyes on here don't think it's going to be a turkey without eyes uh so let me go ahead and show you how i achieved that very affordable everything that i bought is very easy to find and again very affordable for the shirts on my son's shirt I got this at Walmart and I only paid $3.88 I believe it's a Ger Animals brand yes and these if you're a mom you know these are, are very affordable uh, for my daughter I couldn't find any because she's a little bit older so I did go to a store that we have here it's called Gordman's and look how much I paid for this shirt $6.99 it's a very pretty shirt again the sleeves um, for mine mine was uh, nine dollars at Walmart I believe and my husband's was $9.99 also I believe so I almost got all of the shirts for the price of maybe two or one and then I'll show you the paints that you're going to need. I just went to Walmart and Hobby Lobby. There are different kinds of paints that you can use. There is fabric paint. I'll show you that. And there's just acrylic paint. I decided to go for the acrylic paint, which is this one right here. And there's the brand. It will focus. There you go. There's the brand. Um, these are very cheap. There's a section at Walmart that they're 50 cents each. To me, that's a really good price. The fabric paint, however, it's a bit more expensive, and I didn't see very much variety of color at Walmart. This is a fabric paint. Um, some of you may know it as puffy paint. There's this. So I did go ahead and pick up this metallic gold color in it. Um, 
I also have a small one in black. And this one is gl gold glitter. Again, how I decided to get these is because these are more affordable, um, more variety in color. And I thought to myself, for a shirt that they're most likely only going to wear one day, I don't need to wash it. I can save it just as a memory in their memory box and their um, baby books. It's fine. I don't need to just use all fabric paint. Of course, I could have found fabric paint in these colors that I wanted, but I wanted to make it simple for everybody to find. So that's the paints that I use and I am going to turn the camera now to the shirt so I can show you all the products that we need and you will just be hearing my voice from here on out. So we're going to get ready and jump in and I hope you enjoy and let me know if you want to try it at home, if you guys liked it. Um, and yeah, I just decided to make my whole family little shirts and Again, my whole family knows that I love doing these kinds of things, uh, and they love just following me and wearing whatever it is that I make them. So, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. First, you're going to need a shirt of your style. This is the style that I decided I would like for our entire family. Next, you're going to need a felt square. You can get those at Walmart. There's a variety of colors. I got this one. Uh, for 29 cents so they're very affordable also you're going to need the acrylic paints that I mentioned and the colors that you decide there is a ton of variety in these colors I got um, each of these bottles for 50 cents and these are the colors that I decided I wanted for my turkey you're also going to need some puffy paint I use this puffy paint for the letters so I like the tip on this I don't need to use the brush and that's why I decided to go with this one as you can see the tip is very precise next you're also going to need um, gold puffy paint all these colors you don't need to get these exact colors these are just the colors that I decided you can get whatever colors um, any combinations that you like next you're also going to need some loose glitter I got this one at Hobby Lobby for $2.99 um, and I use this for the letters on the girls uh, shirts You're also going to need just a plain pen um, just to outline the letters on there. I like this one. Also some brushes. These are some old makeup brushes that I just had laying around and I didn't need any more so I decided to recycle them and use them for this project instead of buying new ones. This also one, um, this one broke in the process of making the other shirts but it's still good. It still works. Uh, so again, you don't need anything fancy. It's just to try to make it as cheap or affordable as possible. You're also going to need a little tray like I showed just to put the paints in um, and keep them in place. Some letters. These are um, just plain stickers that I got at the scrapbooking section. They're not decals, but you can get decals. I just decided to go with these because of the font. Um, they did not have this font in the decals. So again, you can use any letters that you'd like. Just be creative with it. Um, I, I just use these, grab these from the scrapbooking section. I like them because they also stick. You don't need to get um, decal adhesive. So, or not decals, sorry. Um, stencils. I got those in big. I also got smaller letters for the names because these big letters wouldn't have fit in the children's shirts, maybe the adults, but I just got little ones for everybody.
I also got this feather stencil. I was going to use it, but I, I decided not to. I'm just showing it to you just in case you decide that you want to use something like this. So there are all the things that we used. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed everything up so you can see how to do everything. Just put your paint. We're going to start with the body of the turkey. So we're going to put some brown paint on there. And this is just a Tupperware lid. I didn't use anything fancy. Next I'm going to um, put that felt square that I mentioned inside the shirt. This is a thin shirt so the acrylic paint will go through. You need to protect it. As you can see I already used that felt for the other designs. The puffy paint uh, won't necessarily go through but the acrylic paint will for sure. This is a stencil that I cut out in the body of the turkey that I desired. You can cut it out however you'd like. You can see I just used whatever paper, um, thick paper that I had laying around. You can, I used, I went with this design. This design is a little more cartoony, but that's what I liked for our family and the kids. You can go a more realistic route. So there you can see that I'm just laying the stencil that I made on the shirt and with a regular pen just going over um, the stencil. Do not worry about the pen because the pen will be covered up by the paints and you will not be able to see it. If that's something that bothers you or that you're worried about, you can go with something else to right over the stencil. This is just easier for me. And again, you um, are not able to see the pen ink after it is painted. On here, you're just watching me um, place the stencil of the feather that I made on the upper body of the turkey. Uh, I will just go around the entire upper half um, simulating feathers. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can see nothing major. So we're just going to go ahead and fast forward through all of this. Now here I'm painting the body brown. Um, I just go around the edges and sweep towards the center um, on the turkey. Then I will also go around the feathers and do the mint color and orange alternating between the colors. So again, let's fast forward this. On here I'm just showing you that I'm wiping my brush with water and you're reusing the same brush. And let's talk about wouldn't it be nice if I could really paint this fast? Oh, it would save me so much time. Now going around with the metallic gold puffy paint, we're just going to paint around the border of the turkey, around everything, just to go ahead and cover up those um, pen marks. Also, I like the way it looks with the gold when it dries. It gives it a really nice effect. Now that that's done, I'm just picking out the letters for the word thankful and just placing them roughly there. Once it's done, I'll straighten them out just using anything with a straight angle. Get them in a position that I like. As you can see, I took them off and back on. Then I finally decided I like that position going over it with pen. 
tracing and then I'm going to go over it with that puffy paint once again. On here I'm just showing how the shirt ended up. I really like how it looked. Went ahead and added some googly eyes to that. Sorry guys, I forgot to mention you are going to need a glue gun um, to place the eyes or you can just use plain fabric glue to glue them on. You don't necessarily need a um, glue gun to do so. I am now writing down um, my daughter's name. Added the stickers on there as you can see traced over them like I've been doing took them off and then just went over with the black puffy paint. So here is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoy. I um, had to do it in two parts because I didn't want this video to be longer than it already is. I will go ahead and place part two which is the front part um, and link that video down below. Please let me know if you liked it. I love how this ended up. Also this back side you do need to let it rest overnight and dry. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um, to continue seeing videos like this and many more. I also do makeup, home decor, DIYs, anything that your mommy brain can think of, I do so.